King Potassium has lost his power. The king of action and contraction in your muscles is now, well, weak and wimpy. Today we're wrapping up hypokalemia. So hypo meaning low, cal meaning potassium, emia in the blood, so potassium less than 3.5 in the blood. Now potassium's main function is to maintain heart and muscle contract through keeping each muscle cell charged or polarized via this sodium potassium pump. Now potassium's regulated by kidneys, which I call the washing machines of the body, because they filter the blood and get rid of excess substances, and in this case, potassium. Potassium's influenced by aldosterone hormone, I call aldosterone, the security bouncer to the most exclusive nightclub in your body, Club Raz, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system in the kidneys. It's a super funny story I cover in our full course here at simplenursing.com. Main causes that drain potassium from the body and dump them into the potty. Well, we use the four Ds, dehydration, diuretics, diarrhea, and drains like NG tube suctioning and vomiting basically does the same thing. Simply all major fluids that leave your body have electrolytes. Because where fluids flow, electrolytes go. The simplest way to remember low potassium causes is using our acronym GOT SHOT. So G is for GI losses like vomiting and diarrhea. O is for osmotic diuresis, basically frequent urination, like with our diabetic patients with high blood sugar. They have to pee out all that sugar and we lose a little potassium too. Thiazide and loop diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide and furosemide, also called potassium wasting diuretics, they pull that potassium from the body and then dump it in the potty. Severe acid imbalance causes disruption in potassium because remember, our sodium potassium pump, which keeps our pH in balance, is being overworked. H is for hyperaldosteronism. Too much aldosterone is produced by the adrenal glands that sit on top of our kidneys, which leads to lower levels of potassium in the blood and increased alkalosis, which is more of a basic state. O is for other medications that deplete potassium. These will be our corticosteroids, which promote water retention, leading to a hemodilution, basically dilutional hypokalemia. Insulin opens up the cells and potassium sneaks inside, causing a low bloodstream potassium. Antibiotics like penicillins and aminoglycosides can induce renal potassium excretion. Transcellular fluid shifts, as mentioned before, using insulin, but also with albuterol pushes potassium into the cell, causing low bloodstream potassium. All right guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at simplenursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course, as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last, but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.